Hey there, this is Mr. Icarus, and welcome to, um, I'm not sure it even matters anymore. This is John Goodman's Ex-Decathlon. I have made a huge mistake. Context, yes, context is sometimes useful. Not that it will help you much here. I guess the conceit is good enough. John Goodman has created the Ex-Decathlon. He's created his own map pack, and he is here to challenge all gamers. Are we bad enough dudes? to make it through in one piece and claim the ultimate prize. I, I, yeah. You know, there's a good reason why I don't cover joke wads very often here on the channel, and that's because it is entirely too easy to drive me insane with them. I, I've got a real low tolerance for the brand of crazy that joke wads bring to the table. I mean, on the surface level, you've got the intentional crappiness. You got the question that starts permeating throughout your mind, just asking why. Why the ever-loving Christ would you design things like this? Why would you have a Pizza Hut sponsorship? Why would you have recolors of sprites the way that they are? Why, why, why do they say whatever the fuck they say when you kill them? What is with this door? Why? Why is it like that? Oh my god. But the simple truth is, when you get down to brass tacks, the author thought it was funny. That's why. It is the rule of shits and giggles. Does that realization make this any easier to talk about? No! Two trouble! Anyway, I guess we're in Vietnam now. I mean, you can tell because of the pyramids. It's, it's obvious, really. Fun fact, the first pyramids were actually built by American GIs during the first phase of the Vietnam War, but unfortunately, they were co-opted by the Viet Cong. Proved to be very troublesome. They'd often lie in wait behind the pointy structures and, of course, spring ambushes on any unsuspecting enemy troops, as you can clearly see here. This is actually quite an historically accurate mod. Not sure about the accuracy of these shurikens, though. Wait a minute. Paladin coins. No, that doesn't make sense. Thank you very much. In fact, they look like those little foam discs that you used to shoot out of those really, really crap toy guns. Yeah, that's the one. After a while, you find Loang's katana kicking around the place, and then comes time to finally complete your mission and reclaim the title of the ultimate Black Ops. I don't know, I never played the game. I'm sure this is a really accurate representation of how it ends. I mean, look, it's got numbers and everything. The numbers, Mason. That's the meme, right? The numbers? The num- I am John Goodman's evil doppelganger, John Badman, and I'm here to give you an evil anti-tip. Type kill in console. Gotta be honest here, there's not a lot of redeeming qualities to this particular map. I mean, sure, it introduces you to some new interesting enemy designs, and I will freely admit that the Goodman gun is a good Goodman good gun. It shoots cubes. Not, not just any cubes, cubes of concentrated Goodman. I'd say watch out for the funny house, though. Funny house can, quite frankly, go fuck itself. Oh boy, here we go. I think I can say with some reasonable degree of authority here that I don't think I've ever played a level before that requires me to shove several thousand buckets of gravel up my asshole, but here we are nonetheless. As you can imagine, the universe doesn't generally take kindly to these kind of shenanigans, so while you're in the process of hoovering up as much gravel as inhumanly possible, you'll also have to fend off quite a significant number of enemies. This map also is sponsored by- wait, no, there go the lights. Jesus? Is that you? Holy shit, it is! Let's play. Oh, this is it, isn't it? This is the level that does it. This is the level that gets me demonetized. You know, there's only one way to fight the loot, and that is with a baseball bat. Go to horny jail. Oh god, they've got guns. I like the idea that instead of blood and guts, these just explode into Pocky and rice balls when they die. No, do don't go to slut log. Jeez. I'm not actually sure what's worse. The fact that this map has integrated pop-ups, or the fact that this corridor is plastered in the same photo of Jeff goddamn Dunham. No, this is worse. This is worse. You know what, I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. It's it's seldom that you get to see this much concentrated awful jammed into one level. I mean, sure, it could always be worse, but 
man, you got to appreciate it when you see it. Ah, but of course, good old 9-11. Where would we be without that? Wouldn't be playing this fucking mod, that's for sure. Honestly, got boss battle at the end of this level. Pretty good one as well. Toho Doom inspired, if I'm not mistaken. Or is it Tuhu? Toho or Tuhu? I don't know, I'm dodging jizz faces. This level is called My Favorite Sport is Climate Change Denial. I think there's a theme here, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm just trying to put my finger on it. But it's... I don't know. I don't know. I think it's a little too subtle for me. The fuck is a velped? Okay, I just did a little bit of research. So apparently this level is based on a bootleg Pokemon game for the Famicom. And Velt is the name of one of four worlds that appears within it. It is generally accepted as a terrible bootleg game, even by bootleg standards. And of course, that would make it prime inspiration for a level during the course of this mod. Somewhat ironically, I'd say that this level is probably one of the more pleasant experiences that I've had during the course of John Goodman's X Decathlon. And normally, this would be a big ol' red flag. You just know you're being set up for something. But the funny thing is, nothing actually happens. You've, you've got this weird, lingering sense of dread, but the level just carries on being entirely pleasant as heck. I mean, even the encounter at the end, you'd be thinking that this would turn out to be a colossal pain in the ass. No, you bonk it twice and you're done. And so we enter the final stretch of John Goodman's X Decathlon. I think by this point, we've put a third decent amount of effort into applying the various disciplines of the decathlon itself. Disciplines such as running, shooting, running and shooting. Oh, and let's not forget shoving copious amounts of gravel right up the- Anyway, as far as final challenges go, I'd say that this maybe falls ever so slightly short of the mark. I mean, sure, there's a lot of enemies to kill, but there's also a large amount of space and a large amount of ammunition to take advantage of. And let's face it, when you're all loaded up with Goodman cubes, there's not a lot here that's going to be able to stand in your way. And so, I received my prize with a slight feeling of melancholy. I may be the best player who ever live up, but... I've got the nagging sense that something happened on my journey, something that I should have noticed. Things aren't quite right, but when you've got the thanks of John Goodman, the, the level maker, the game programmer, the food... Oh shit, it's Jesus. John Goodman wants my soul, time to get in the Jesus hole. So as Jesus gently descends out of view, I should probably explain what the ever-loving heck is going on here. As it happens, John Goodman is harvesting the souls of epic gamers such as myself in the form of alternate reality X decathlons hosted on shitty computers from 1995. And, and now it is time to stop him from doing the thing. The whole godhood thing. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's probably the best explanation you're going to get from me. Naturally, as an epic gamer, this also means I have amazing hacking skills. Wow, I mean, look at me go. Watch out, China. I, I'm, I'm a coming. I'm coming for your bitcoins. You might not like it, but this, this right here, this is what peak performance looks like. Hacking the computers leads you where else but Pissed Island. The land of the piss filter. Largely an excuse to throw together a whole bunch of enemies you've faced in preceding levels before ultimately landing you here on the final zone elevator, where apparently only hell awaits. Joke's on them. I've been there all along. Yep, sounds about right to me. All the world's a game, and you're a pest. So this is what it comes down to, eh? Attack and dethrone God. It's like one of my Japanese animes. Like any decent boss fight, you got multiple phases, the second of which pops you into this arena where you gotta take care of a whole shed load of enemies, which is not particularly difficult when you're using weapons like this. Anyway, killing all the demons allows the spirits of the dead to finally be at rest, and as a result, they deem you worthy of the ultimate weapon. What 
the heck is that? So I have spent the last hour or so trying to come up with an effective way of summarizing my experience with John Goodman's ex-decathlon. And I have discovered that despite some considerable effort, I literally can't even. I just can't. I, I literally can't even. And quite frankly, I don't think I should. The last 10 minutes or so of footage should be all the evidence you need when it comes to the dizzying, deranged nightmare that is John Goodman's ex-decathlon. Would I recommend it? <laughs> sure, yeah, go ahead. Knock yourself out. But if one thing's true, I, I do admire the kind of dedication that goes into creating something this, this deranged. Because despite the surface level awful, despite the intentional layers of crappiness that are shot through the entirety of it, you see a few little touches here and there, and at the back of your mind you're going, but this, this, this here requires effort. This actually requires a fair bit of knowledge to get working, and that for me is the inherent paradox when it comes to joke wads such as this. There's clearly some talent going on here. It's just that it's directed in a completely different direction from everything else I'm used to. But there you go. That was John Goodman's ex decathlon A thing that happened. And to that end, if you're interested in having that thing happen to you, you will find the link, as usual, in the description below. While I'm at it, I'd like to give a great big thank you to my long-suffering patrons. Thank you so very much for supporting the channel, and for better or worse, helping to make content like this possible. If you're interested in lending a hand yourself, maybe you'd like to see your name in the credits, maybe you'd like to gain early access to my videos before anyone else, well, if that's the case, you'll find the link to my Patreon page also in the description below. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, dare I say even reveled in delight at my mental anguish. Feel free to let me know just how much in the comments below, and feel free to suggest any mod you'd like to see me cover in future episodes of Doom Mod Madness. Not that I'm sure when that'll be coming back, because I feel like after this one, I'm gonna have to take a little bit of a break. <laughs> I need to recharge. This shit ruins me. But nonetheless, I hope you've had a wonderful time. This has been Mr. Icarus. Thank you very much for watching. Icarus out.